Hello and welcome to episode number 45. I had to check there for a second. Episode number 45 of the Daily Sales Message, where each and every single day for at least the last 45 days in a row, we provide you with a piece of simple, actionable advice that's going to help you to improve your sales performance and feel more confident too. If you're new here, my name is James Newell. I teach people how to sell for a living. And for me, it comes in two parts. First of all, you need to have what I call a clear sales message so people understand what you're trying to sell to them. And secondly, you need selling confidence, the ability to navigate the selling situation in a relaxed and confident manner. In this episode, we're looking at what I'm calling outlier fear, which almost sounds like some kind of a scary movie, doesn't it? Outlier fear. But let me explain, because this holds back so many of my clients and students and people that I talk to when I say, you could do this, you could do that, oh, but, 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 but what if, but what if? And the main one for me is unlimited. So if I offer you unlimited access to something or in my own actual clear sales message offer, it's unlimited iteration, so we'll work together for as long as is necessary until it's right, for some people, that's a really, really scary prospect because what happens if these people just call me endlessly and I waste days and weeks and months and years and surely it doesn't make commercial sense. But this for me is an outlier fear. Using the notion of unlimited, if we go to a, an all-you-can-eat Chinese buffet, for example, all that food is there and by definition, you can eat as much as you want. Fill, fill your boots, help yourself, what do you want? You can have all of it. But you know... Maybe you don't know, but maybe you're about to realize there's a limit to what you can have. Maybe two plates, maybe three, maybe four, whatever. You might really go for it and you feel sick afterwards and never do that again. But there is a natural limit. So even when something's unlimited, there's a kind of a natural limit to it anyway. So outlier fear is where the Chinese restaurant wouldn't offer an unlimited buffet because what if we had one person who came in and ate everything or ate 10 plates or whatever? Oh, what, what if, what if, what if? And it's an outlier event. It's very unlikely to happen. But the upside, the benefit of having an all-you-can-eat offer is really attractive to buyers. So that's worth having. So if you have an offering where, like with Clear Sales Message, I offer people unlimited iteration, unlimited time scale. I know there's a natural limit to that, really. But it's attractive to my buyers because they are stuck with me. And I use the word stuck. They are stuck with me. And so we get everything 100% right and they're 100% happy, which is what they want. That's an attractive thing for them. If I let my outlier fear of, but what if there was that one person? Oh my God. If I let that overtake me, I wouldn't be able to offer unlimited iteration, unlimited time scale, and my offering wouldn't be as attractive. So what I'm trying to say here is without misleading people or lying to them, we need to make the boldest biggest, most attractive claims and offers we possibly can. But often, with my clients and students, the thought of an outlier holds them back from that. What if somebody eats all the food in the buffet? What if somebody wastes all of my time with unlimited offering, whatever? It's probably never going to happen. And even if it does, it probably wouldn't be as bad as you thought. But the cost of that outlier fear is holding you back from having a really attractive offer where there's unlimited this and all sorts of that because you're too worried about what if that outlier fear thing happens. So for this week, I want you to think about there's two ways you can look at this. The first one is in the construction of your offer. Where is outlier fear holding you back in terms of offering unlimited or you can eat all access, whatever? What are you scared of there? And can you temper that thought, temper that worry and go for it? And the other one is in outreach. A lot of people use outlier fear when they're talking about, but what if the person uh, hangs the phone up? What if they're rude to me? What if they email me back and tell me to go away or use swear words or whatever? Well, it could happen, but it's quite unlikely. People generally in the main are quite polite. So it's an outlier fear that's holding you back. It's something that may never happen, or if it does, it's very, very small chance of it actually happening. But you're letting that harm the good work and the effort you could put in. And it's probably holding you back as you listen to this right now. Because I know for me, at certain points in my business, it has to. So identify those outlier fears, rationalize them, think about how likely they are and what you would do if they happened and then push forward with a bold, confident offer or a bold, confident move into cold emailing, cold calling people 
don't let those outlier fears hold you back. Well, I've uh, waxed that one lyrically to death, so hopefully you get the point that I was making there. You probably got the point about 25 minutes ago, but there we go. That's it for this episode of The Daily Sales Message. Tomorrow, we're looking at three simple letters, and if you know what they are, you should still tune in. And if you don't know what they are, you should definitely tune in. And the letters are this, S-L-A, S-L-A. They are often missed in a selling situation, but can be really, really useful for attracting people to buy from you and retaining existing clients too. But we'll cover that in more detail tomorrow. That's it for this episode. Thank you for listening. If you aren't already subscribed, then please do hit that button. If you found it useful, please feel free to share this episode of the Daily Sales Message or the whole Daily Sales Message podcast with somebody who you think might find it useful. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for episode number 46 of the Daily Sales Message.